So, uh, just gonna do another video. Ooh, some nice uh, French or not so French food. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, still working on the COD project in France. Uh, loving that a lot of things have developed. Uh, I don't know, I met a lot of new friends, and it's hard to do a video like this, to be honest, because uh, there's so much happening right now. Like, so, in this last week or so, I've been. Uh, working on this project uh, basically I don't know just having fun we're pretty much we've been to a party uh, we work about eight hours a day uh, basically covering that small love shack and yeah I've come to meet a few new friends uh, learn a very limited amount about French culture oh I didn't know about this room it's quite a nice little room actually. oh sorry hold on keep forgetting to say uh, pardon and uh, mercy and au revoir and it's, 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 it's my uh, grasp of French is terrible so I just say uh, je ne sais pas or je ne parle pas français etc etc this is just I can't fucking understand French well I can understand some of the things people say but I can't I can't respond so it's kind of worthless in itself. I can respond in English, but if I can't speak extremely English, it's useless. But yeah. Anyways, how do I do this? I think I'll go uh, just introduce you quickly uh, to uh, yeah the friends, the people I'm working with, and then um, I'll go off on my own and talk alone because uh, I feel strange uh, expressing myself in front of people, even though I. Uh, do it frequently, well, infrequently now to the uh, entire internet. Anyways, let's see how it goes. Oh, what's even. Oh, oh, actually, what are we cooking tonight? Looks alright. Just done. Uh, oh, there's this now. Quickly, say say something in French, Sebastian. Quick. Something in French. Anything. Putain, je ne sais pas. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, why would he say that? I'm putting this. Uh, I'm putting this on YouTube. I know a lot of people on there, and all the French people now. Yeah, I'm just uh, kind of showing the workroom. Say hello, Chris. Fire. <laughs> Banana, oh, I want you to burn. Banana, oh, bum, bum, fire. Banana, oh, I want you to burn. No, no, no. Beautiful. Bruce, uh. Oh, no, they, uh. They are busy. But yeah. Those are some of the people I'm working with. There's Sophie, but she's hidden. I don't think they're in the mood uh, for that. Everyone's uh, really hungry right now because uh, basically it's like 25 to midnight and nobody's cooked anything yet. They're just uh, starting meals and normally we eat at like 10 o'clock, which is probably an hour after we uh, finish our volunteer work there. So yeah, everyone's a bit fucking peeved right now. Jesus, I don't even know half this house yet. It's fucking weird, because I basically live in this random geezer's gigantic fucking cob house, and I've got a clue what anything is. Fucking toilet in here. Anyways, I'm slowing for time, because I don't want to express myself, because I'm worried that they'll be around to hear it. And as I say, I'm... Ah, there we go. Just not an open kind of guy. Yeah, basically, um, I'm really, really enjoying myself out here. I've made some pretty cool friends. Uh, I miss uh, most people at home. I do miss Jack. Uh, you guys don't know who Jack is, but he's like uh, been a really close friend of mine for a while now. And we were talking about moving to Manchester together and 
all kinds of things and I'm still thinking about that. I still miss him a lot because I know he's just cool and when I'm down he's there for me and I'm there for him when he is a very given person. Yeah. Anyways, enough about Jack. This is about friends. So yeah, I've, I've basically been uh, working with them all day. Everyone seems to speak uh, a little bit of English or quite a lot of English, some of them, so there's no real language barrier there. I mean, most of the world seems to speak English where I go. Which is kind of annoying because I can't fully immerse in something because I only hear the vocalizations that I'm used to or like kind of cheap imitations of the vocalizations I'm used to. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's something annoying. But sometimes, because there's a majority French, see, there's two English workers in this whole place. There's me and Chris, uh, and then everyone else is French, and there's, to scale it, there's like 10 or 11 French people. So when we all eat, everyone speaks in French. I don't have a clue what they're saying. Well, I'm like, 22, 23% of the time, I can understand them. But the rest of it, uh, doesn't make sense. Or I can understand the basis of a lot of things they're saying, but I don't understand the complexities. I'll understand certain words, but not the joke because it's like a colloquial term so that's interesting but I actually prefer it when they all speak French to each other when we're having dinner together than uh, when they speak English to me because I feel more like I'm part of something even though I can't understand it and it feels uh, I don't know just it's beautiful to be out here it's beautiful to hear them uh, all speak French together you know we all have our meals together we all work together we all make jokes about each other and stuff it's yeah, it's, it's really beautiful out here. Um, everyone's into eco-friendly design. Most of the people here are doing the COB project because they want to learn about how they would build their own. Um, I, I'm doing it for more geopolitical reasons. I want to sort of go towards a self-sustainable world and rather than sit at home and talk about it, I actually come out to do it. And yeah, um, there's one other guy uh, here as well, uh, Sebastian, the guy who said... Uh, Putain, je ne sais pas. Which is like saying uh, ho or fuck. And then uh, saying I don't know. <laughs> Fucking bastard. Uh, yeah, he is also doing it for reasons of self sustainability. So I'll probably be doing a lot of projects like this now. For quite some time. I think the next one's in uh, either Italy, Spain, or Portugal. Or maybe in uh, Slovakia. It, it depends on uh, who wants me to help them on what project, really. And I think the next one's probably going to be Ramed Earth and communal living, so... I'll hopefully do a bit of gardening on that one. And yeah, uh... Going here on my own, away from my hometown, has made me realise some really strange things about myself, like... Uh... I know, emotionally, um... Uh, I'm starting to become slightly more emotionally mature and aware of who I am. Uh, better sort of forming genuine bonds with people now I'm getting older and I'm sort of seeing that the important thing in life isn't really isn't just uh, the achieving uh, this environmental stability which is the most important objective right now uh, to me I, I might change my mind in a week or two who knows but it's also um, that kind of positive feeling of uh, a community of um, people having each other's backs which I have a lot in my hometown because I know, you know, fucking everyone there. So, obviously I have that in my hometown. But I have it, I feel like I have it more here because I don't know them because uh, we work together and we play together and we're discovering new things together. Whereas, in my old hometown, um, as much as I love all the guys and the girls that I know that, we don't do anything that really bonds us. We don't do anything challenging or new. Uh, we're kind of afraid to break our social structure because we know each other and we're comfortable in patterns but it's also awful because we're, we're kind of stifling ourselves, we're stagnant in a way. I mean I did just go to Boomtown Festival with all of my friends which isn't that strange for me, I do pretty cool shit all the time uh, that sounds bigoted but it's true, I do a lot of you know, nicer uh, things, things that I enjoy all the time but yeah, we never do anything uh, outside the box, we never act any differently. Because, yeah, we're not looking to form new friendships, we've already got them. 
So maybe I'll have to do some actual wild things again because it's been a while since I've uh, stepped out of a comfort zone with that. You know, I still do wild things like dance crazily, but they all know me. They already know I do that kind of shit. It's it's nothing new. So yeah, I think I want to push them out of the comfort zones a little bit. Push myself outside my comfort zone with them. Another thing I'm getting is uh, I don't know, just uh, oh, I'm being called by people. It's just, uh, I don't know, like, uh, <laughs> I think I better go eat. I'll continue this on the uh, last video. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and uh, thanks for listening. And uh, if all of you thinking of doing a project like this or help them out in an environmental project, there's plenty of volunteer websites, uh, quite a few for free, not all of them are for free. And yeah, just get on board. Anyways. Peace, relax, and uh, yeah, I really, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video and your life.